Hi, I'm going to show you how to complete this Goldwork Grecian Horse project. So uh, this is part of a Goldwork Grecian Horse kit from craftyattic.com. If you don't want to buy the kit, I've put the template on the website and I've put the link underneath the YouTube film uh, for you to uh, follow the link and you can just print the template out. But I'm cutting this little chap out very carefully from the kit. I'm just finished that now and I've got the um, cut out piece of felt. I'm just using some uh, dressmaker's wax here to coat a piece of regular thread and I'm going to pin him into place on the fabric and I'm just going to use just a normal uh, little stab stitch all the way around just to firmly attach this piece of felt to my backing fabric. Using dressmaker's wax uh, because it stops the uh, thread from knotting, and when we come to the gold work, dressmaker's wax is kind of vital. Okay, so this little kit is an applique kit, um, and it just includes everything you need to make the little horse, um, so the the padded background and all the gold work and things that you'll need to do that. There's even a couple of needles included in there for you. Doesn't include the thread. Doesn't include the dressmaker's wax. So I'm just um, continuing all the way around with this little stitches just to stitch him down. I've now got some uh, light gold shiny uh, gold work embroidery bullion. I'm just going to stretch it slightly. Um, you always stretch gold work bullion before you work with it very slightly. When, when you're couching it as we're about to, that stretch will allow the uh, thread that you're using to disappear between the coils in the bullion. So I've just caught the end few coils there just to attach it down firmly onto the fabric and I'm just going to couch now this gold work bullion and I'm going to go all the way uh, around the uh, front or the, the, the nearest two legs of this pony and then up and around his head and underneath his mane you can see where the line of his neck is we're going to follow that we're not going to go outside of his mane we're going to do that later in a, with a different technique so you can see now in close up how um, I'm just very badly at couching this down. What I should be doing is pulling those uh, threads so they disappear just like this in between uh, the coils on the um, embroidery bullion. I'm following the line of his uh, neck now underneath the mane there and just continuing to couch all the way around. Um, and once again this is one millimetre uh, shiny gold embroidery bullion. You can get that from craftyattic.com or you can buy this um, little kit which is going to be a bit more of a co cost efficient way of doing things because everything you need is then included in that kit. So you get the bullions that you need, you'll get a couple of needles and you'll get um, the padded printed background as well. So I'm just continuing now to couch around until I've completed all of this little horse so the, the front two legs that are nearest me and up and around his body.
Switch to a dull gold. Now this is uh, hasn't got quite as much shine on it and I'm pre-stretching that in exactly the same way as I did with the light gold. Not too much, just enough to allow the uh, threads to slip in between the coils when I'm couching. So I'm just going to use this for the two legs that are furthest away from me, so his two behind legs if you like, um, and I'm just attaching it very firmly down onto the fabric with a couple of, um, just catching a couple of coils and then couching it exactly the same way as I did with the uh, the shiny gold around the rest of the horse. I'm just going to finish off these two legs in the dull gold. I'm now going to prepare some uh, little chippings. So I've stretched uh, slightly more actually and I'm just chopping off little tiny uh, bits of the wire, different size lengths, some shorter, some longer. I've stretched them quite a lot because when you're doing uh, the filling in work that we're about to do now um, to, to get this effect, if you've stretched it, it quite a lot before you start, the bullion will contract to the size of your stitch. So it's very well behaved. Um, and we'll just let the springs uh, contract to the size of the stitches as we um, sew them in to fill in this area. So I don't want um, them all facing in the same direction, I want a kind of higgledy-piggledy look like we have on the, the front leg that I've done there. So I'm just stitching in these little bullion chippings in all sorts of different directions. I'm using, you'll notice, a yellow thread while I'm doing this so that it disappears as much as possible into the gold of the gold bullion. So we can't see the thread, we can just st see these little bullion chippings when they're, they're filled in. So I'm just going to continue in a very haphazard way to stitch all of these little bullion chippings closely to each other, next to each other, to fill in this area. You can see now that I've finished that uh, that limb there. So I'm now going to switch to the main and what I've done is I've cut some uh, quite long chippings here from um, some bright check pearl gold bullion and um, I'm just going to sew these in a very regimented way around this uh, horse's head and neck to form the mane. So I'm making sure that each little piece of bullion is at about a 45 degree angle from the body of the horse. And I'm just using them like beads, I'm threading the uh, needle up through the centre of these little bullion chippings in just the same way as we've just done to fill in. Um, and I'm using a yellow thread <coughs> and you can see how the uh, bullion there is, is contracting to the length of the stitch. So I've put quite a good stretch on it before I chop them up and they're now contracting nicely to the size that I want them to do. Continuing with the rest of his mane, I'm just putting in my first stitch here at about a 45 degree angle from his body and I'm just going to use that as a as a start point and then continue just laying these bullions next to each other in exactly the same way as we've done. I've cut some slightly shorter pieces for when I'm going to get up towards his ear here because I'm going to need some shorter pieces so you can cut your little chippings to all different lengths, you'll use them at some point or another. Um, when you're doing uh, the gold work here it is very important that you use some wax. Uh, the gold bullion when you cut it obviously you have a little tiny wire end 
on the spring and sometimes that will catch in the thread that you're using. If you coat your thread with wax it will stop that happening so it will stop your knotty frustration. So you can get dressmaker's wax from us at uh, craftyattic.com So there, we're just continuing there to finish his mane off in exactly the same way. You can see how sparkly his mane is there. We've used this uh, Bright Check Pearl Bullion, which is a faceted uh, bullion, which really catches the light nicely. I'm now going to do his tail with the same uh, gold bullion as his mane. So this is Bright Check Pearl. I'm using uh, little lengths, probably about five, six millimeters long. I'm just stitching them next to each other in rows to cover his tail. I'm going to tackle the uh, detail on his body next. So I've got some uh, 0.5 millimeter black embroidery bullion here. I'm pre-stretching it in exactly the same way as I've done before. And I'm going to use a black thread on my needle. And I'm just going to couch down this bullion on top of the black lines for the detail in his body. This thinner uh, bullion is really good for this kind of detail because it allows you to get the detail in there but it doesn't uh, interfere with the rest of your uh, bullions too much. It doesn't take up too much room in other words in your design. I just now need to form a tiny loop for his eye. So I've brought the thread up by his eye. I've cut a piece of bullion that's probably uh, four or five millimeters long. It's pre-stretched. So I just need to pull really tight with my thread. Might need to help it along with a needle just to curl in the right direction. Just help that curl by giving it a little bit of a, a tug and then pulling really tight and then one little stitch to hold that loop down onto the fabric and that's his eye is nice and finished. All that's left to do now is to uh, cover the rest of his body with uh, the gold. So this is the shiny gold uh, bullion. I've switched back to a yellow thread you can see which is coated in, in beeswax and I'm just filling in the whole of his body with these little tiny shiny gold chippings. So it's a really fun, really quick little project and you'll end up with a really beautiful gold work horse at the end of the day. So it's a great deal quicker than it looks because with embroidery th uh, stitches of course all you've got is the width of a stitch that you're covering uh, with your fabric with each stitch. With the gold work you've actually got um, a millimeter of metal which is covering the area so it's actually quite quick to do. You can see how quickly there we filled in this little area and I'm just going to continue over the rest of his body. 
in exactly the same way and then he'll be finished. So here's our uh, Grecian horse finished. You can buy this kit from craftyattic.com. I've put the link in the YouTube panel for you to click on. So please support us by buy buying your embroidery supplies from us so that we can continue to make these films. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can see all of, all of our new stuff as soon as it's available. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.